Hey everybody, uh, it's Belligerent, and I thought I'd make a video about the new Paladin talents in uh, Mists of Pandaria. They look pretty, uh, pretty great. There's gonna be some pretty hard choices, and some choices are better versus specific uh, team compositions, or uh, if you're doing rated battlegrounds. So, I thought I'd make a video talking about that. Okay, tier one here. Apparently, you get a uh, talent point every 15 levels, so 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. So yeah, the tier one here. It I think it's pretty pretty clear that long armor law is definitely the best one here because judgment only has an 8 second cooldown, so every time you judge you get that 45% movement speed. So that'll help a lot with positioning as well as uh helping you get hammers off. For tier two here, uh I believe Hammer of Justice is still a a, a spell everybody gets, so Fist of Justice I'm pretty sure is the improved version of it, which just has a, a double range and half cooldown. And I'm not, not sure if that's going to be actually better than getting Repentance or not, since according to this right here, this is just, you know, Brent, like the first look at it, but uh, Repentance does not have a cooldown, but it does have a 1.5 second cast, so it may actually be better to be uh, to get Repentance than it is to get Hammer of Justice, though you can get two Hammer of Justice here. Or like, it's kind of like getting two Hammer of Justice because it has half the cooldown of the original one. But being able to Repentance people could be pretty great too. And on the Seal of Justice talent here, it's a slow, but eh, as a paladin, you don't really need to slow. All this talent is holy. Like the, any any spec can pick these talents, so I'd say it's probably best to either get Fist of Justice or Repentance, depending on the comp you play. And it might actually just be better to get Fist of Justice because the 30 second cooldown hammer, you just use it on cooldown and a six second uh, stun while your partners are killing something, you know. For uh, BGs, definitely would say Repentance is better. Okay, and the 45 tier here. I think it's going to be a competition between Blessed Life and Sacred Shield. Well, Blessed Life is going to give you a uh, holy power pretty much every 8 seconds no matter what. Sacred Shield is going to save you from getting killed. So, if, like, for right now, if a good RMP switches into you or a good uh, Rogue Lock plus Healer or whatever switches into you or even like a Mage Lock Shaman or Shadow Play or whatever, they can usually kill you before you can use any moves. So even though you do have 3 charges holy power from this Blessed Life talent, it wouldn't even matter because you get killed before you can cast any spells. You get like deep froze and the blanket CS and the impact stun into death coil, you just die before you can cast a spell. So maybe sacred shield here would actually be better. So whenever you get below 30% health, you get a big shield that actually increases your healing taken as well. So I be between these two for that. Well, I think sacred shield might actually be better depending on how strong spell clues are in uh, this Mist of Pandaria expansion. For tier 60 here, I'm kind of stuck between um, all of them really. I don't know how good this holy shield is going to be, but I honestly don't think it will be as good as just using the three points to use a uh, word of glory. Because shielding someone doesn't make their health go up, it just keeps it where it is. If you blow your holy power charges on that, what are you going to have to bring them up other than word of glory without getting counterspelled? So, turn of glory might be better, and this right here as well. This selfless healer is going to make your uh, judgments, uh, make your flash of light not even cost any mana, as well uh, as it make it, it makes it heal for twice as much. So that might actually be the best too. And I, I will have to choose later, depending on how good paladin mana is. Because this right here will definitely, this selfless healer will be the best for sure if mana is a problem. But uh, if you want an actual like burst healing output, you know, this right here is this eternal glory is still definitely the best because you can double word glory. Well, this Holy Shield is probably uh, better if you're playing with uh, Wizards, where you can actually uh, put a shield on them, so when they get switched to you, they have a shield before they even take any damage, and you have time to get your uh, Holy Power back up. As you'll see from a talent that you, get, you can choose to get later. To veneration here, uh, tier 75. Veneration, it removes all movement pairing effects, but it's, it'll probably break CC if you're playing with a Mage. Or if you're like playing with a rogue that's blind or something, or even a, a warrior that has the that target fear somebody, so that might be that might be good if you're playing on like a melee cleave. But I think overall, acts of sacrifice is better because uh, it makes it so when you cleanse yourself, you remove a uh, movement pairing effect. And keep in mind, all specs could get any of these three talents. And the uh, clemency here is a uh, removes a cooldown on uh, your hand of protection, hand of sacrifice. Depending on how crazy damage is, that might be the best one, but I think Axe of Sacrifice will be the best because you can cleanse yourself and just take off uh, 
hamstring or death knight slows every single time like no matter what so that's pretty good and the tier 90 if you're looking at these I'd probably say that uh, sanctified rats is the best because it makes the holy shock has no cool on uh, everyone knows holy shock is like your cheapest cost heal next to uh, word of glory which costs nothing so you can just word of glory after you do a, a bunch of holy shocks plus you, when you guys are going offensive you can spam holy shocks into an enemy and I think holy paladins still get infusion of light so that might be amazing to get this uh, signified wrath where it gives your holy shock no cooldown but yeah that's um, what I think of these new talents for Mr. Pandaria thanks for watching and uh, see you guys <laughs>